Welcome everyone to another episode of Dino Times and today we are going to be covering an iconic dinosaur and giving you some quick little facts about the infamous Stegosaurus. Now of course there is the Stegosaurid family that has a loads of species in there. They're all either spikes, plates, spikes and plates and they're a whole great on and if you guys would like a video on that comment down below. Of course so Stegosaurus has been found in North America but a lot of its brethren have been found mostly in Asia. Stegosaurus though itself does stem from the Jurassic period. The name does mean is Greek and it does mean roof lizard. And bipe or quadrupedal herbivore, of course. Now we all know the iconicness of this dinosaur and its plate. But before we get into that, I do have to say, there has been things that have been disproven about this dinosaur, like the brain and the butt. That has been disproven. It used to be the big iconic thing about it, but what it still did say stay is the brain the size of the walnut. But he could still be pretty smart even with that size of a brain. The animal still was pretty large. <laughs> it weighed around 4 tons, 30 feet in length, and about 14 feet tall. This is a tank of an animal. I have a secret love for stegosaurus, but besides the point, they I mean, who could have like look at the dangerousness of that animal. You what carnivore was thinking of going up against that? And I say who? The Allosaurus, because we have found evidence of puncture marks in the bones from the thagomizer of Stegosaurus. That is the tail spikes, named after a, a newspaper cartoon, of course. But think about that. Like, you go up against an animal that has giant plates on it, is a massive beast already, loads of meat for you as a carnivore, you know, you're looking great, has spikes on its tail, and has plates. I got a feeling there were a pretty good amount of Stegosaurus, and the win-loss ratio was pretty good. Now, going back into the plates, so we actually don't know a lot about this. Like astrophysics in some of the sections, we don't know a lot. Uh, what we do think is theorized. It could possibly be a mating, a defense, of course. And then also uh, maybe thermal regulation was also a thought as well. We don't know for sure. And uh, maybe one day we'll get it figured out, but we're not really too certain on it from certain podcasts I've been listening to. Shout out to you, Anodino. Now, actually, Stegosaurus has been proven to be some of the earliest dinosaurs to develop cheeks, believe it or not. And yeah, that's a sentence. And of course, so it is like some of the sauropods, where is a gastrolith? That means they ate the wonderful good protein of stones. The stones, actually, they would eat them, put them in their stomach, and overall, probably not too good, but it did help actually digest plant matter. Because the plant would get all mashed up and become like a giant mass in there, the concrete. So the Stegosaurus would go ahead and eat stones and mash up the plants inside the stomach and then digest it. Then probably over time with enough stones, the rocks, the stones themselves will get weathered down and then they'll just poop them out. And that is some quick little facts for y'all about the Stegosaurus. And hopefully you learned something about this iconic dinosaur. Um, one who's definitely gone through some body changes as well from when we first knew about the animal to modern day time. We've definitely seen a lot of it. And of course, this is in every Jurassic thing. Good, because it should be. And it has been seen through so much media and is an iconic staple, just like the Tyrannosaurus of the dinosaurs. So if you guys did learn a little bit, leave a like, comment down below on my social media, and all that is going to be in the description box with my Twitch as well. Stay tuned for those video game chaos. And of course, folks, subscribe to catch those video game chaos and as well as more Dino Times and other paleo media too. You all rock. And remember, everyone, science is real.